a dreamscape. Uh, yes, it is. Update information. So this is the Dreamscaper Prologue. Uh, this is a roguelike indie ARPG roguelite, possibly. I don't know. It is such a such a thing these days, uh, and it's incredibly difficult to gauge where the industry is at versus where the gamers are at in regards to what they give a shit about calling roguelikes and roguelites. But let's be real, no one at the end of the day probably played rogue, so it doesn't fucking matter. Maybe like three people that are actually talking about roguelites and roguelites, roguelikes, probably did, we got this fancy PlayStation 1. Um, so it's 9pm on Tuesday. Reasonably, I should be going to sleep. Read our dream journal. Holy crap, that's a lot of crafting shit. Wow. Okay. Mal, he's a co-worker, seems around my age, pretty self, uh, pretty self-serious, pretty tough not to crack. He likes cooking. Bruce is a jovial, is jovial and friendly, he has a tendency to carry on a bit, but he's so passionate. Very bubbly into some of the same stuff I am, passionate about making a difference. And I don't know who that is, apparently. Okay. Can we, can we quit? I guess we press escape. 9pm on a Tuesday, realistically, we, we go to sleep, right? Can't spend time travelling around the town talking to people. Alright, so in Dreamscaper when you go to sleep, you get transported to the game world. Wow, I have a different weapon. Can I check what I'm wearing? The masher and a finger gun. Typical shield, slow down time, space buffer, dodge. Alright, oh, I forgot that middle mouse button is like a different attack. But a huge. Okay, so there's like something to do with timing when the character goes white. There, okay. Interesting. And the finger gun. <laughs> Alright, see, so I haven't done the finger gun. I, I do. <laughs> I love that. Out of projectiles! Defeat all the enemies before the timer runs out. I didn't see that. Oh my, that was very stressful all of a sudden. Oh, it was for the chest. Which gives me a neat shield. Uh, which is cool, you can recycle the things that you don't, uh, you don't use either. Which is neat. Primal Scream. Right, so I need to blow this up with a bomb. Uh, what was the bomb button? Let's see. Cool. Didn't give me anything. My bad. <laughs> I, I like the setting, uh, being, I guess, contemporary is the word, right? I forget. But. I like that. It's it's different. 
the minimap, uh, how it tells you, sort of, it gives you an idea of what you're going to have to expect. Did I get anything from that? I thought there was a key in there. Good. Out of bombs. Oh no. That's what I was supposed to save my bomb for. Oh yes, okay, we've got these puzzles. Now these puzzles are... you need to get everything lit up. It was very confusing at first for me. I didn't really understand uh, what the goal was. Like, Because usually with these puzzles, right, um, you've got a beginning and an end. So you've got to connect the beginning with the end. But in this game, it's you need to get everything lit up. So I sat there for about five minutes for the first time, uh, staring at it going, I don't see the end goal. And then I realized, surely, it must be just everything needs to be lit up. And yes, that was what it was, so. We made it there, eventually. I think this is a healing? I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna hold off from... Touching that for now. Got him. I do have bombs now. There is a chest in here, which gives us a broadsword. I'll take that. I had a dagger on my first run, so having proper swords is very cool. Let's drop that. How many bombs do I have? Like one. Okay, I'm gonna save that bomb. Uh, assume this is just a heal. Yeah, cool. Let's head back through here. Oh wait, you can fast travel? I forgot about that to any of the rooms you've been to previously, uh, which is very neat. No more tediously running between rooms. Oh, baseball glove, which increases my range damage, or oh, roll two. I already have roll three, so... Do you have baseball gloves? Just increases range damage, keepsakes. Okay, that's interesting. Why does it want me to blow stuff up in this map still? <clears throat> Odd. Oh wow, that's such a powerful range attack. I mean, the knockback on it is incredible. So I think like we're collecting this something here is like a Sands of Time to some degree is what I'm gathering. Not in the same sense that the Prince of Persia Sands of Time exists, but... more passives. Why not? How do I activate my abilities again? I don't know what the button is. It's tab for slow time. Uh, 
There's something back in here on the map. Oh, a health potion. Inside. I have a slow time. Is it Q and E? I think it's Q and E. Yep. It seemed like it was Q or E. So Q is the one on the left, E is the one on the right. Oh no, I do have a bomb, okay cool. Spend some money. What do we got? We got three bombs. We got... It's fire to all of your attacks. We got unarmed three. Got crashing wave strikes two. And we've got uh, an upgraded buckler. I don't even know if that's an upgrade. Looks like we're um we're skipping that and I head up here. And we fight the boss. Which I couldn't beat last time, so let's see how we go. Alright, cool, I got the dodge off properly this time. Oops. Cool. I'm actually doing fairly well compared to the last time I did this. Oh wow. Locking doesn't block all of the damage. Ah. What is this? Woo! All of my Dark Souls training is paying off. This boss has so many phases, I am impressed. It is a little hard to see when my character flashes Y. I'd like to see something else help with that. Maybe. But otherwise, yeah, this is pretty good. Come on, there it is. Ah, uh, what? Please! Please! Why aren't you dead? <sighs> oh, thank God for that.
Oh hell yeah. Oh uh, my HP is bigger. Nice. Nice. Let me ascend. Part one. Next day, three hours. He's also collected Solace plus two, one. Bliss, Solace, Insight plus one. Play again to experience brand new dream layouts, item loadouts. As our first new title, Dreamscaper means a lot to the three of us and we're happy to share the prologue with you. Did you enjoy playing the prologue? Yes. I did. Craft gifts. You have found a crafting resource within Cassidy's dreams. You can now craft gifts by opening up the dream journal to the crafting page. Gifts Cassidy's uh, crafts can be given to residents of the waking world to level up their relationship. Welcome new powerful abilities. Right, so that was... That was that, was that screen we were in before. Right. I hit the button on my mouse where the mouse goes like super slow. It's always my favorite button to press. <laughs> Just want to point out that some of the tweets uh, about Death Stranding are actually the greatest thing ever and So I can craft things? Alright, so I'm, I wanna get I wanna get the Mallory. The scythe, that looks fucking awesome. Getting to know Tamal. Okay, what is Tamal like? He likes cooking. But what, what does that mean? I don't know how this crafting. Okay. A homemade coaster. Handmade coaster. Available. Here we go. Is a coaster a cooking? I don't know. Let's let's go talk to him. He was in the cafe before. Wow, rude. No one's at the cafe. Even the people running the cafe aren't at the cafe. Here he is. Yeah, let's talk to him. Talks about ambitions and where they see themselves in five years. Cool. Gift. Nope. Okay. I wanna go to the bar. Who's at the bar? Oh, she's at the bar, Allison. Cat facts. Damn cat. Cat factors. Eve chit chat. Eve attempts to teach Cassidy the proper way to taste bourbon. Yes! Yes! Good. Get educated. Uh, is that does that mean that's everyone for today or no? Bruce, I can't talk to Bruce. I only have okay, so I do only get till 9 p.m. That's what I thought.
I'm still finding cat hair on my desk. It's literally what I was doing just then while I was quiet. I was like swiping cat hair off my desk. Alright, let's sleep. Time to slip. I want to get that Mal- Mal- Maloroy, Maloroy, whatever it's called. Oh, I keep everything from last time because I didn't die? Ooh. Increases health by a lot. Yes. Nice. Oh, they're purple now. One, two, three, four. That's gonna start taking a bit to kill, isn't it? Ah! Hell yeah. We're gonna fight on our hands up here. Oh shit, it's a ranger! Oh, and it's like a fast dude. It does like a real fast attack. Okay, these new enemy types definitely took me by surprise. Yeah. I think the game has like, uh, sort of... Uh, auto lock on to some degree, and that's why the controller is preferred. Because I noticed that it seems to know what I'm trying to aim at to some degree. Which is good. Stop that! Pusrota! Yes, health potions. That's the boss. I ain't doing that yet. I'm not accustomed to these new enemies at all. Successful parry severally boost all attack speeds. Parry buffs all attack speed. Ooh. Rust of the shadows. Burns. Sand collected. I guess it's another ability. I'll grab the ability. I should have grabbed the other thing because it was like a it was like a yellow. It's like an ultra ultra rare thing. Oh well, that's fine. It happens. I am dying though, and I'd rather not be dying. These are all those <laughs> spear boys with the spiky heads. What? I thought I killed that one. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Come on. Oh. Please give me health. Ah, oh, I'm so close to dying. Please be a health chest. <laughs> Damn it! Chance parry triggers shockwave. Sure. I am the glass cannon now. Oh, I if I blow up the stuff in these other maps that I was skipping, they could have health. Nope, just arrows. That's fine. HP, please. So I'll fight the final boss with three hit points. Worry about me.
That's it. <laughs> Tried to block it and I died. So because I did poorly, I don't get a lot of time to interact with people. I could interact with like one person. puppies. She likes animals. Okay, let's go find Allison. Please be at the coffee shop. Yes! Hey, sorry to bother you. Last time you were here, I happened to notice that you were wearing a shirt. One of my favorite comics. And I was wondering if you'd be interested in talking with me about it. Hell yeah. Is the songstress shirt? Oh damn, yeah! Yes. Yes, I have. This just in, Lee is the best. about comics. with anxiety. Sorry for not being weird about my question. We got cold snap. Revealed coffee. Worth. It's a mall. He likes coffee, so maybe? He probably likes movies. It has to be him. That'd be correct, yes. And you're Cassandra. Cassidy, but like, close enough. Shit.
Strong but softly worded email. I agree. Ah, yes! Me wanty big scythe. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's just talk to Bruce. Nine PM is is the time that we sleep, yes. Yeah. Guess I restart now because I uh Oh, karate mode, what have I got? Finger gun knife. Yeah, I can't bomb that, I don't have a bomb. Practice the timing. What do we got in the ship? Nothing I can afford. Oh, we found the boss already. That's good. Uh, I do have a key. Let's go, shall we? Ooh. Successful parries temporarily boost your global damage for... Th wow. Or a longbow. Let's get that parry. I thought... Is, is parry simply just... blocking? So I don't... Right click block slash parry. So I'm not entirely... I think the tutorial did go through that, and I didn't really fully grasp that if there was a difference, there was a difference, but yeah. Put that down. Fire to all of our attacks, that's good. Some free damage. So I finally figured out what those things do. They send out like a shockwave. Got a 
question mark. A yellow question mark. Oh, it's a puzzle. Puzzle time, puzzle time. Best kind of time. Fracture to oh, not like that. I think it was defeat all enemies without taking damage, and I failed it. I didn't read it. Big scythe, though. What? And 100 lucid to get one bomb. Having the icon next to the currency when you talk about it in the UI. That'd be good. So I know for certain which is which. Boost your global damage. Need that damage. Guess that's it. We got 600 bucks to spend, and then that's 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 it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Poison attacks. I don't have any poison attacks, but Adds shatter to all of your attacks. Attacks shatters. Ah, uh, that would have been cool. Guess we try and beat the boss with this gear. Yep. Is it the same boss? Interesting. I wonder if there's a different boss because I didn't get past. Uh, didn't get past it twice. This is not a good weapon for fighting this boss. So two-headed weapons are probably a little bit overpowered. Or I'm just really underpowered because I don't have a lot of gear yet. Ow! Ow!
it's because I'm not, uh... That's terrifying. Fairly certain that will kill me. Does my combo do that much more damage as a dagger? That I need to be doing it every time? I'm curious. Oh, uh, I died and the game crashed. I liked it. I was having a good time. But I think that's enough of uh, Dreamscaper for right now. Um, damn, I really want to get that. Really, really, really want to get that uh, big scythe.